Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we will be talking about another responsive layout widget which is also called as expanded widget. So this is a single child layout widget. So what does, what does that mean is you can have only one child uh, to this expanded widget. There can only be one child uh, underneath uh, expanded widget. Another thing is it's used in a combination of a uh, multi-child layouts like row, column, flex layouts. Uh, so in, in like in row and column and flex, you have multiple children. So in each children can be wrapped in a expanded widget. So that's how we use this widget. And another uh, point is uh, expanded widget either as its name suggests, either it expands horizontally or vertically and it uses a property called flex to do so sometimes. So we will be seeing both cases with the flex property and without the flex property and how does it behave. So here you see two uh, variants of using the uh, flag, uh, expanded layout, uh, expanded widget. So in the first uh, uh, variant, it doesn't use flex property. So it, it's a row, simple uh, row widget and each widget of this row uh, children's rose children are uh, at uh, say for example say child widgets and which is nothing but an image wrapped inside and I'm calling it child widget and each child widget is wrapped inside an expanded widget but there is no flex properties given in this case so as you see uh, this expands like all these three widgets which are given children these three children uh, takes all the available space horizontally and expands itself. However, when you give the flex property, so here's, you, here you can see it's like a very tiny text here, four by eight, three by eight, and one by eight. So in here, I'm telling it how much space you can take. So yeah, the total space I have given eight, and I'm saying my first uh, of the ch child can have four and the second one can have three out of it and the last one one by eight. So it automatically rearranges depending on how much uh, space, uh, how much is the property for the flex properties given uh, value for that. Uh, so I will show you in the next uh, slide how it happens. So for the first one, so it has a row as we saw, it's a simple row of widgets and it has each children which is a child widget it's nothing but a, an image internally it doesn't matter it could be any widget inside and it is just is taking a text so here i'm passing nothing but in the another uh, uh, but i can pass any uh, string to it and it will be displayed on top of it like i'm passing it here so that's what all it's doing in here okay so what is what's happening here so each of the child is wrapped inside the expanded widget as and the uh, the child widget is a child to the expanded widget and each of this so what happens it they uh, understands okay we are all wrapped up inside the expanded widget let's share all the available space um, in the uh, whatever the uh, the expansion axis is whatever the mac main axis is in row we, row this main axis is the uh, horizontal because row layouts like this so this is my main axis so it goes like this and so expands this way if i were be using column it will be expanding this way it would have taken all the space like across this space like this so this is what it means whether it expands vertically or horizontally now in the next case i'm giving a a property of flex so flex is like in the first one I'm giving a property of four and in the second three and the last one one I'm nowhere telling it it's a eight total but it the expanded widget automatically calculates depending on how much value you have given to it so if you count four plus three plus one is eight and so total space is eight and it divides like how much I can take is four by eight, which is half of the space it can take. The rest is three by eight and this is one by eight. So that's what you get uh, like this and it expands in again in the horizontal direction. 
So this is how the expanded widget works in Flutter and why we use it because uh, such layouts are very responsive. So depending on what kind of uh, layout you are doing, it adjusts itself depending on the available space rather uh, being hard coded uh, with, uh, depending on the screen size. So let's jump into the code. All right, I'm here in my Android Studio. Here it's the same repo that I use for my other Flutter examples. It's a, another actually Flutter cookbook too, where I have started writing more about the responsive widgets. And so what it does, I have created a little uh, drop down here to be able to experiment between these two. So if it's now no flex this, and if it's you select flex, it creates another variant of it. So what's happening behind the scene, it's uh, most of the code in this file is for uh, enabling this drop down. So the code you need is here. So where what's where it's happening in the body. So where you will be looking at is here right here. So I have this variable is flex or not. So that means I whether I'm using my is flex uh, property or not. If I'm using then it you goes with the expanded with flex and it calls this variant. If it's not, then simply the, as we saw in the code before. So as you can see, the child widget is right here. It's a simple container, 100 by 100, 100 and it's a box in box decoration. It uses a as, um, flutter icon, which I have in this project uh, is as a flutter underscore icon, a PNG asset. And it has a border of this little black color that and that goes uh, around it and a simple text string is pay, uh, been put on top of it if I choose it to do so. But in, in the regular expanded default where I'm just wrapping it around the expanded, I don't pass anything. So it's simply, uh, so in this case uh, where I'm using just the no flex property, there is nothing on the icons. But when I use using flex, I'm passing there how much is each uh, this widget uh, that each child getting the space, how much it's claiming uh, its space, which is four by eight and all. That's why I'm passing it here. Uh, but the point here is this expanded, the usage of these expanded widgets inside the row widget or a column widget. So that's important point here. And uh, again, uh, just to reiterate, there's a two ways to use it, expand uh, with flex or without flex, or you can use it either with row or column and it should it should just expand itself in the, that direction so if i change for example expanded with flex um, with the column there you go so what happens it just expanded through across this column because it's a one so total space was there like it is much available so one by eight so it it assume it has a eight pieces and half is taken by Mm, the four by eight, which is one by two, and rest remaining is distributed along it. So it it just uh, partitioned depending on how much flexibility you give. So it's pretty simple as is, and feel free to experiment with it. And again, the code links will be available in the description below of this video. And uh, I will see you in the next video with a new widget uh, to uh, attain uh, to create the responsive interfaces in Flutter. Uh, so I hope you like this video and I will see you in the next video.